Greetings, Curve Fanatics. Today I'm going to be doing a review and tutorial of this pre-cut eBay steering wheel cover for my Porsche Cayenne, which I purchased for only $45. When you order your steering wheel cover, you can actually select the materials you want to use and the color. Additionally, you can specify what color thread you want. The kit's really cool. It comes with a sewing needle, double-sided tape, and this tool over here so you can tuck the material under the plastic trim. It basically comes with everything you need to get the job done. So let's get started. The first step is to clean your steering wheel thoroughly with rubbing alcohol. This is going to remove the grime from your steering wheel and allow the double-sided tape to adhere properly. Next we're going to test fit the steering wheel cover. This is my first time attempting this, so let's come up with a game plan. I'm going to apply double-sided tape to the three flaps over here to make sure that they sit flush against the steering wheel. I'm also going to apply double-sided tape to portions of the steering wheel cover and this is really just going to help secure the steering wheel cover in place while I stitch it and once it's on prevent the steering wheel cover from moving around. We also want to make sure that the steering wheel cover lines up with the original seam where the two sides of the leather cover meet. Okay, I think we're ready to get started. Starting with the bottom half, I'm going to remove the other side of the double-sided tape and press the steering wheel cover into place. This is going to keep the steering wheel cover in the right position while we stitch everything together. Now let's start threading the sewing needle. Be sure to use enough thread so you can stitch the entire section you'll be working on. You then want to take the back ends of the thread line them up, and then tie a few knots and tighten it. Take the sewing needle and puncture the steering wheel cover from the bottom side. That way you're not going to see the stitch. You want to reuse the hole for the very last stitch and just insert the needle through the hole. This is going to allow you to get the needle through the thick material easily so you can begin your stitch. After you have your stitch started, take the needle and cut across to the corresponding stitch on the other side and insert the needle through the stitch. Alright, so we're done with the first section. Sorry I wasn't able to capture all the stitching footage. I just used a crisscross pattern and it went from one side to the other. When you're stitching the steering wheel, also be sure to keep the thread nice and tight. This is going to prevent any gaps between the seams. I'm also realizing that I should have used a little bit more double-sided tape. If I grab these two sections where I put the double-sided tape, it's nice and firm. But if I grab this middle portion and twist, it does give a little bit. But what I'll do is add more double-sided tape to the rest of the steering wheel. Now let's move on to the other bottom section. We've now stitched most of this section. We just have to stitch this last portion of the flap and get it to connect to the material on the back side. So we've now completed stitching the bottom half of the steering wheel. Before we move on to the top half, let's pull the other side of the double-sided tape off and let's press the side flaps in place. And then after this, we want to use the supplied tool to tuck the excess material under the tip trying buttons. All right, Carfanag, so we have everything fully finished and installed. Let's go ahead and just take a look at how this turned out. So overall, I'm very happy. I have, you know, the stitching over here and I try to match it as close as possible to the OEM thread. So what you're going to do when you want to stitch yours, you can do a few different ways, but I stitched it from one end thread, cross over to the very next one, and then I cross back over. And then you should form kind of a V shape and have one thread over here that isn't threaded. So you can do it every other and actually go across like this, but that's just going to create a tighter pattern. I opted to go with a more open pattern to match the uh, original threading pattern. And overall fit and finish is really good. There are some spots here, for example, where it doesn't quite close all the way, and that's because it's trying to wrap around the seam in the leather. 
But if I did a more careful job with the double-sided tape and trying to pull everything together, I probably could have closed that up. Same goes right here. There's just a slight little space. And then everything else here lines up pretty well. Same kind of issue with the space right there. But again, execution could uh, solve this issue. And that's looking good. All right, car fanatics. Overall, I have to say I'm very impressed with this kit. It was only $45 and I purchased it on eBay. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, but you know, on my 2008 Cayenne, this actually transformed the look and feel of the steering wheel. So before the steering wheel was just way too thin and I didn't like how the leather was slick. Uh, but this suede material is synthetic, of course, but it still feels very high quality. It's very pleasant to grip. It gives a little bit of softness to it and the added thickness is a big plus. Now, would I do this on my 911? I don't know. I'd probably spend a few hundred extra bucks just to make sure you know everything's absolutely perfect on the 911. But my Cayenne is a 2008, it's older, and I didn't like the steering wheel, so I really didn't see the downsides of trying this out. But overall, I'm glad I did because the fit and finish turned out really nicely. If you're interested in this product, take a look at my description below and I'll have a link to similar ones you can find for your car. Well, thanks for watching Car Fanatics. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Leave me comments or questions below and be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you're notified each time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.